Atinekpud. I would like to thank God for this opportunity to represent our Inupiaq people of Tikiak. Special acknowledgement and recognition goes to the elders, the past, the present Umeliks, whaling captains of the two colleagues of Tikiak, Unisiksikaks and Kagmaktuk. I would also like to thank the Goldman family for this recognition as well as the Native Village of Point Hope Tribal Council. My husband Richard, my family, many of whom have flown in from Point Hope to join me tonight. Last but not least, <laughs> last but not least, I'd like to acknowledge my wonderful parents, Henry and Emma Nashukpuk, who have instilled it in me, their traditional knowledge that I carry with me today. I'd like to share how important whaling and the ocean meant to my father, who was a very successful hunter and provider. He lost his battle to cancer in 2003. As brittle and fragile as he was, weighing only 90 pounds at the time, he wanted to join my brothers on the whaling crew one last time. Of course, my reaction was no, but my brothers knew we needed to respect his wishes. So my brothers prepared the snow machine, the sled with traditional skins, mattress, and a sleeping bag and brought him to the ocean. With great relief and pride, he looked at the ocean as he drank his cup of tea. It was hard to hear what he was saying, but in my heart, I know it was about the ocean and what it meant to our people. That moment, we were all very emotional, filled with tears, with hope and sadness. Knowing this was his last wish as a whaling captain. After drinking his cup of tea, he said, I'm ready. I remember that day like it was yesterday. Right now, as I speak, my Inupiaq people up in Point Hope are hunting for bowhead whales. And Shell's drilling ships are on their way to land, launch, the most aggressive drilling plan ever in the Arctic Ocean. When I met with President Obama a couple years ago, he told me that he knew what it felt to be treated as a second-class citizen. He made a promise to work with the Inupiaq people and to protect our way of lifestyle. That gave me hope. Now is the time to hold him to that promise. I need everyone here today to remind him what is at stake. I need you to stand with me to honor my father's wishes as he sat on the ice for the last time. I need you to stand with me to remind him that we all have the responsibility to protect America's Arctic. I speak blessing on each one of you. Thank you. Teku. In other words, we say in Inupiaq, the Eskimo language, teku.